Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, including plasma filaments destabilizing. We've got top science news and an update on the ongoing changes here at suspiciousobservers.org. Starting with our star, we find the last 24 hours shift from minor pops to actual filament releases and CMEs around the limb, including one of the departing filaments on the right. Solar wind phi angle flip and co-rotating interaction region began affecting Earth overnight. We took brief periods of geomagnetic instability and those will likely return today if the BZ tips southward. Sunspots are still numerous, and there's even a new group born just this morning facing Earth on the south. And we'll cap space weather by watching 304 angstroms, which best shows the filament activity. We'll have to wait for coronagraphs to update in order to see the extent of this CME, bulk likely heading to the right ahead of Earth's orbit, but depending on its width, we could see a glancing blow to the magnetic field this weekend. Right now, we're going to NGC 1961, a gorgeous shot from Hubble. Always thought this was one of the prettiest spiral galaxies out there, and it is our eye candy today. Nice poster summary up next of a recent study on the global electric circuit, pattern matching between it and the Madden-Julian oscillation, which at its core describes monthly to seasonal precipitation anomalies, something known to be directly tied to the global electric circuit already. Up next, we're looking at one of the shorter secular variations of Earth's magnetic field. It does trend on longer time scales like 12,000 years, and shorter ones like daily and even hourly ranges. But now a pronounced 30-year cycle is present as well, which happens to be a good match for several long oscillations in Earth's climate. Lastly, folks, a good study on the magnetic field tilt angle of Earth and the interplanetary magnetic field, and how they couple together. Another nod to its tremendous influence over Earth's electrical environment is also a reminder of the scaled-up version at the galactic level. The Sun's electrical environment, and therefore activity range, is going to be tied to its interaction with the galactic magnetic field, something that happens on that same 12,000-year cycle, and which happens to be ongoing as we speak. Folks, this summer we said several major changes were coming to the channel and our related activities, and many have already taken place, most notably the changes at suspiciousobservers.org. But we also said the app was something that needed to shift, and that's about to happen. If you missed the news before, the app is being taken over by Nine Rise, and over the next few days this transition will begin in total. There may be some downtime while systems transfer, so please be patient. I will keep you informed of when you should expect resolution and how the app will progress going forward. Just don't be shocked if you don't see what you expect to see in the coming days. We greatly appreciate your support. Still have the helpful resources listed below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.